So probably you're seeing this video because you watched a shorter video on my YouTube channel about something beach volleyball and in the end it said something about a short video disclaimer. And this video is what I think is the solution to a little conflict that I have with creating this YouTube channel. Because here's the thing, I really want to help people. I really want to help you understand beach volleyball better, learn it faster and whatnot with all sorts of tricks and hacks and, and so on and so on and so on. The conflict is that to be able to do that, sometimes you need a little bit more time. Because um, when you learn uh, <laughs> math in school, first you learn addition uh, and plus minus, division divided by whatnot, some more advanced stuff, some algebra, blah, blah, blah. And there was a sequence in what you learned first because you had to know the basics before you could learn higher level stuff. But what if the higher level stuff in beach volleyball has way more practical application? What if that is what actually gets you to understand things? That gets you to learn easier, quicker, faster, having more fun, everything. Well, if that's the case, I would be cutting you short if I don't give you that stuff. So to ever have a chance even at reaching those higher level, juicy, really valuable, useful stuff, I need to create a little bit longer videos. And there's another reason also. Uh, I believe that beach volleyball is a very complex sport, which means that short videos that give simplified answers to problems in beach volleyball can very often mislead people. Uh, let's say that I gave you a short advice of you gotta have sunglasses when you play beach volleyball. Which, yeah, a lot of the times it's true, but sometimes it's dark, you know, and the sunglasses are actually gonna hurt your game because you don't see anything. And on an example like that, that is so obvious, it almost feels foolish to, like, of course we're not gonna use our sunglasses when it's dark outside. But the thing is that if we're trying to learn beach volleyball concepts that we have no knowledge of from before, we tend to, when we learn something, we tend to apply it everywhere. So let's say that you don't know what sunglasses are. And I tell you, hey, you need sunglasses when you play beach volleyball. Then you're like, aha, I need sun sunglasses. And you start wearing them all the time. But you don't understand, or there's a very big of a chance that people don't understand when to take those sunglasses off. And this is also a problem with short videos because then we can never have the time to actually explain when to use the sunglasses, when not to use the sunglasses, the underlying reasons, and so on, and so on, and so on. So the conflict is that <laughs> to be actually able to help people, that's sort of what, what needs to be done. But the conflict is that maybe it's a nowadays sort of modern thing, but people's attention spans are not so long. If they go, you know, on YouTube, they see, okay, here's a 15 minute video, wait, 15 minutes? That's a long, long time. I don't have time for that. I can't watch 15 minutes of video. So therefore, they only go and click the three minute video instead because, well, that's much easier. But the thing is that you can never get to these tricks. And you might actually learn stuff. You might pick up stuff that's actually going to hurt your game. There's a good example that I'll make a video of later. Uh, it's the tennis split step in serve receive which absolutely can help you sometimes. But I've seen so many times, I've done it myself, I've applied it, and it has hurt mine and other people's serve receive because it's applied everywhere and, and not really understood fully. Uh, and I don't want to be the person that gives that sort of advice that hurts people. I want to help people. But then again, if I only make long videos on my YouTube channel, a lot of people are not going to watch them and I'm not creating a good, successful YouTube channel. So I decided that I'm gonna start making also shorter videos, but as soon as I feel that there's a chance that pe someone might misinterpret it, uh, then I'm gonna add this disclaimer thing that leads to this video. So I hope you appreciate my attempt to actually genuinely help you as much as possible with Beach Volleyball. And in this video, it was by saying that sometimes the biggest enemy is yourself and your reaction of how you react when you see how long a video is. Because in reality, <laughs> the longer videos, you gotta understand that that's what's gonna lead to the higher level stuff. And that's what's actually gonna help you the most. 
and this goes for beats volleyball this goes for other things as well um but yeah cool now you know what i think um up to you to do whatever you want with this information watch longer videos watch shorter videos uh whatever now it's up to you i will make a video in the future with my best hacks on how to indulge longer content easier because i know i know what it's like it's i'm the same i also just have 24 hours in the day and and everything like that so but there are some hacks that makes it easier to watch and listen to longer videos and so on and so on but i'll make a separate video about that the link will be in the description below when that is done cool if you like this message and and my attempt to do what i'm doing here feel free to click some like and subscribe buttons and whatnot on the page and uh, well comment if you have any thoughts or or whatever and I will see you later.